You're listening to our FM 92.7. My name is Alex Nyman, and this is Jazz Club.
beautiful track there from uh, the wonderful trumpet player Sublime Roy Hargrove, um, amazing trumpet player. Um, <clears throat> probably I would classify him as the, uh, you know, the 21st century Miles Davis. I don't suppose he'd want to be labelled like that, but um, he very much epitomises everything that is cool and everything that is beautiful in jazz. And before that, you heard a track from Bob Mincer, and that was uh, from uh, the uh, album was. Uh, from In The Moment, and the track was called Straight Ahead. And uh, coming up for you this afternoon, and uh, by the way, welcome to the show, and if you're listening, and um, it's a great joy to bring all the beautiful music to you once more um, from the wonderful studios here in Marston, uh, the old RNZ studios, which are now the new Arrow FM studios, and they're absolutely superb. They're getting better by the day. I've had new furniture moved in. Um, there's all sorts of wonderful things going on, um, paintings being hung on the wall, and um, it really is an absolute joy to be here. And I feel very, very privileged to be able to bring you this program. And... Um, uh, Great thanks, of course, to um, uh, Veronica and Michael for allowing me to do that. It's a real, real privilege indeed. Um, coming up this afternoon, um, I have, excuse me, I've got a little bit of um, <clears throat> little bit of wind in my tummy and I'm just trying to sort of burp, but I'm not trying to do it on the microphone. I have coming up this afternoon for you, Pat Matheny. Um, I've got the Ronnie Scott's All Stars. Um, that's featuring um, the son of an old friend of mine, Willie Garnett, his son Alex Garnett, fabulous uh, saxophone player based in London. Got uh, Nathan East, Weather Report, Dick Oates and Jerry Bagonzi, the Kendricks, Scott Oracle, the Yellow Jackets, Dexter Gordon, Sean Jones, George Culligan, and a whole heap more. Um, I'm sure that, as usual, I'll probably fail to get them all in, but um, I will do my very best. And, of course, if I stop yakking, I will get more tracks in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to leave you now with Pat Matheny and Roof Dogs. <laughs>
bow, my cares and woes. Here I go, singing low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet and so is he. Bye, bye, blackbird. No one here can love and understand me. Oh, what a hard luck story they all hand on me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight, blackbird. Sweet and so was he. Bye, Blackbird. No one here can love and understand me. Oh, what a dark like story they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight. So do my own do 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 so do 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 so do 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 so do 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 do
Sugar sweet and so is he Bye It's a marvelous night for a moon dance With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to make a romance Neath the cover of October skies And all the leaves on the trees are falling To the sound of the breezes that blow And I'm trying to please to the calling Of your heartstrings that play soft and low And all the night's magic seems to whisper and hush All the soft moonlight seems to shine in your blush Can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, my love?
That was Nathan East on bass there with his big band um, featuring the uh, amazing vocalist um, Michael McDonald. I can just imagine the uh, the sound engineer at the end of that take probably going, oh, can we have a little bit more passion, please, Michael? Uh, not. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow, what a great take. I haven't heard that track before. As I said to you before, um, there's a lot of tr- music that I'm playing for you that really I, I'm hearing it for the first time. If you are, I am too. And um, there's just some just wonderful stuff out there, really incredible. Um, <clears throat> before that, you heard... Uh, my friend uh, Alex Garnett at the um, Ronnie Scott's uh, Club, uh, Frist Street there in London. That was recorded a few years ago and that was featuring uh, Natalie Williams on vocals as Bye Bye Blackbird, as I'm sure you would realise. And um, before that, um, a the Pat Metheny Unity Band um, and a track called Roof Dogs. Fabulous. Um, yeah, I've got some really nice other tracks coming up for you now. Um, I've got um, a couple of tracks actually from one of my, my favourite bands from way back when. Um, oh gosh, when did I first hear these guys? Back in about 1976, I think it was. And um, they were um, very much the flavour of the moment um, amongst uh, sort of, I guess, jazz listeners, if you will. And uh, I, I loved all of them. I wasn't really aware of just how wonderful each individual player was until later. Um, but um, uh, the the guys, and if I tell you the names of the guys in the band, you might recognise who I'm talking about. The actual band, the band's name itself is Joe Zavinal, Wayne Shorter, uh, Jack Apostorius and Peter Erskine um, on drums. And um, that probably would say to you, oh, you must be talking about Weather Report, Alex. I am indeed. And I've got a couple of tracks from, from them for you now. And these are from, uh, these, these are quite quite quite, um, quite early tracks from these guys. I think they're probably around about sort of, you know, sort of late 70s, early 80s. And the first track is called Elegant People. <laughs> Thank you. 
weather report there, recorded live in about 1974, maybe in 73. Oh, I don't know. It was it was amazing. <laughs> 70, but a little bit later, actually, about 1976. It was an amazing track, and um, the the amount of energy that those guys have and played with, um, you know, J Jacob Astorius there is just absolutely incredible on the bass. And um, uh, uh, the interesting story um, about Joe Zavinall, um, who was the, uh, so I guess, the, the founding member of um, Weather Report and very much uh, in demand jazz musician, um, originally played with Miles Davis and a whole heap of other people back in the 50s and uh, Austrian born and moved to America, to New York. Very, very. Um, uh, idiosyncratic guy very very interesting man uh, very philosophical very deep and um uh, it was said at the time um it wasn't actually sorry to say it said at the time but um uh they they mentioned that uh, wayne shorter was the only guy that he was going to play with who was a saxophone player the only saxophone player he'd ever played with and the interesting thing is that in all the incarnations of other bands that he's had since then he's never ever ever played with another saxophone player so i guess it's um i don't know maybe a mark of respect for the fact that wayne shorter was the only saxophone player who was good, good enough to play with him um who knows but uh yes yeah, it's, it's and he's had quite a um a number of bands i've played a few tracks from his um uh, the seven all syndicate um another from amazing band are very much kind of like in the um, weather report vein um but yeah that's a kind of interesting story i guess to a certain extent anyway so that was weather report and um wonderful wonderful music um now coming up i've got Got some more kind of sort of straight ahead jazz for you guys. Um, two of my very favourite saxophone players um, and have been for quite some time, um, and they are Dick Oates, uh, alto saxophone player who was over here in New Zealand, oh, probably about 10 years ago. Very, very nice chat. Met, met him personally and had a really nice chat with him. Lovely, lovely guy and a very fantastic saxophone player. And Jerry Bugonzi, who I haven't met, um, but he is all <laughs> equally, equally as wonderful, and um, certainly one of the one of the most preeminent uh, tenor saxophone players in the world, absolutely. And this is a, an, a track from an album that they recorded together, and this is called, if I can get my finger on it, Cheapo Stakes. <laughs> Thank 
Beautiful track there from the Kendrick Scott Oracle drummer, Kendrick Scott. Uh, fabulous track. And um, before that, you heard Cheapo Stakes, and that was with um, Dick Oates and Jerry Bagonzi. Um, yep, coming up now, um, one of the uh, saxophone players that um, I have played during the show was um, the chap who was playing at the very first track, and that was a chap called Bob Mincer. And Bob's been over in New Zealand on a, oh, I think, a couple of occasions. Um, I met him about... Um, probably about eight years ago, I think it was. Um, well, he was an absolutely delightful man and um, obviously a fabulous, fabulous player, fantastic uh, arranger and um, very, very highly respected saxophone player um, worldwide. He's now living over in L.A. He moved over to there from New York um, a few years ago. Quite a transition, actually, believe it or not, to move from New York to um, L.A. for a player. And um, he did it with um, his usual ease and running big bands over in, in LA as much as he was running a big band in New York and um, he's playing just as, as, as amazingly now as he, as he always has done and um, got a track um, playing with a band now that um, he started um, playing with about um, I think it would have been about maybe about eight, nine years ago and um, but originally they'd um, been playing with other guys called like, so saxophone players and it was the saxophone player that generally changed in the band and um, the, the, band's, the band itself is called um, the Yellow Jackets and um, they've been around for a long, 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 long time and um, they, uh, they're they also wonderful, wonderful players in their band as well. I mean, uh, uh, Mark Russo was a saxophone player back in the um, early 80s and um, quite a number of other guys have um, come through the band but um, they seem to have settled on Bob for, uh, for, for very good reasons, obviously, because he's such an amazing player and also he makes does lots of arrangements for the band, you know, lots of new music for them and um, not that they need a lot of help because um, they're all um, pretty amazing players on their own. And um, anyway, so a little bit of background there to uh, this uh, next track and this... This is um, a track called uh, When the Lady Dances. And I'm going to follow that with, um, uh, a, a, again, a, a kind of more traditional track. And this is um, that's going to feature Dexter Gordon. And that's off uh, an album um, that's uh, with a fully orchestrated album um, with big orchestra, blah, blah, blah. And he was um, uh, playing there. And this is going to be playing, he's going to be playing the wonderful, wonderful uh, ballad called Laura. But first of all, let's hear Bob Mintz playing with When the Lady Dances with the Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
break there from one of the true giants of jazz, Mr. Dexter Gordon on tenor saxophone. Uh, the beautiful flute playing of Frank West there in the background. Um, truly wonderful flute player and a very, very enjoyable track. There. And I remember getting that album, oh, must have been about 15 at the time. That was probably about <clears throat> quite a number of years ago. And um, before that, you heard... And I'm just making sure I get the right track. Yes, that was um, When the Lady Dances, featuring Bob Mincer with the Yellow Jackets. Now, you've heard a lot of saxophone players, um, as usual, during my show. Um, well, it's my show, and I'm going to play <laughs> as many saxophone players as I possibly can, because I love it. And, um, however, the next go guy is not a saxophone player. And this is a track from uh, a guy called Sean Jones, and uh, this is called Transitions. <laughs>
That was uh, George Colligan there and um, a solo track from him uh, of his album called Return to Copenhagen. And that um, was actually the title track and that was called Return to Copenhagen, believe it or not. And uh, before that, uh, a fabulous trumpet player there called um, Sean Jones and I uh, hadn't heard of him before. As I say, this is always a, uh, it's a bit of a learning curve for me and hopefully for you there, uh, if you're listening at home there. And uh, that was a track from his album and uh, this is called uh, Transitions. All right, now then, coming up, um, it, as I said, the, 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 even though it was a it was a track from Sean Jones, uh, he, he, even though he's not a saxophone player, of course, there were a couple of saxophone players on there. And um, it just seems to be uh, one of those sort of, you know, it's a, it's a ubiquitous <laughs> instrument as far as jazz is concerned. It'll pop up in the most unusual places and generally on everybody's tracks. Um, coming up, what have I got now? Um, oh, I've got a lovely, this is a, um, a track, one of my very favourite saxophone players, and um, it's a guy called Rich Perry. And um, he's based in New York, and um, I have a very good uh, friend of mine, or he was an ex-student actually, a guy called Richard Ty, and um, he's living over in New York now. And I taught him back over at Massey when uh, when the school, the New Zealand School of Music, was based at Massey University. And um, Richard was a stunning, stunning um, student, um, very, very uh, talented guy. And he made the move over to New York um, or a few years ago now. Um, I don't think he's making a fortune, um, <laughs> but then m- most jazz musicians aren't. But that's okay because he's um, he's doing what he needs to do, and it's and he loves what he does. And um, I just think he's a fabulous player. And I think if you get to hear him, you um, hopefully maybe one day I'll get him to send some tracks over um, of the uh, music that he's playing at the moment. I've heard some stuff on YouTube. Maybe I can grab some of that and maybe play some of that for you next week. I'll see if I can put, um, pull something off YouTube and, and um, bring that up for you. But anyway, talking of Rich Perry, um, Rich has been having lessons with him and um, I'm sure that he did. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what he learned from him because I haven't really talked to him about that, but um, I know that he enjoyed them immensely and um, I'm sure he, he, he learned a great deal. Rich Perry has been around for quite some time and uh, he's a f- amazing player it really is and uh i'd like to play track for you now and this is a very unusual version of the old ray noble standard cherokee <laughs> Thank you. 
well, um, just going to fade the track down. Um, that's the uh, that's actually Sean jo- Jones here playing. It's a track called Roots. And before that, you heard Michael Udelson um, playing Minuano 68 Pat Matheny track. And before that, I had um, Kurt Rosenwinkel um, and uh, a track called Gamma Band. Kurt Rosenwinkel, fabulous guitarist. Well, my time is nearly up, and um, as always, it's been a huge pleasure bringing you this beautiful music. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my portion of the show, and um, of the of the show of the day. And um, I really look forward to um, bringing some more gorgeous music next week. And so, until then, have a great week ahead. Cheers. Bye bye. Come on.